balsaming power near the end of the game. Um, and it, it doesn't look like anything, it's just like a diagonal line. But the point of it is that it draws calligraphy. I never use it either, but um, Alexis on the team, she was like, Adam and she's like, we have to have a calligraphy brush. <laughs> so it's in there. I'm just going again. Yeah, do it. I've begun uh, I'm again. gonna try. Maybe I'll try to like do a proper commentary and not just talk about inscription. You can talk about inscription if you want. It's really good. Ah! <laughs> I've fallen off. I'm going to live with that. Do not wish to reset. I'm trying to do no, marathon practice. No, I think I do practice. actually. I want to like. I want to like think of all the best things so that tomorrow I like know what the best things to say are. It'll I be natural. About it, but oh, oh, I've. <laughs> it's it's probably gonna be yeah. It probably won't be predictable because you'll be talking like a million miles a minute, and I'm just gonna like yeah. squeeze like so a you, fact you, in. You, you got a preview <laughs> of how fast I can rattle through some of the stuff during that first yeah. run, but then I feel weird repeating it twice in one stream. Yeah, I do too. That's about the cadence of my commentary. Yeah. But yeah it's, the things things that I would tell you are probably different than things that I would consider interesting for the general GDQ audience. Like, you know things about this game, so I can tell you shit like, you know, oh, like the boss fight states are driven by like a kind of a card and deck system. And you're like, oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, how, we're, that's how we're going to do it. That's how <laughs> we're going to do it. You, if you say something like that that I already know, I'm not going to pretend I, like, I'm not going to be like, I already know that, you told me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but that's the, the kind people. of thing I probably, I probably, that's the, but I'm saying that's the kind of thing I probably won't try try not to mention tomorrow. Like, I want to try to think of the things that, like, seem interesting from, like, a, I guess more, like, process stuff than, like, specific technical details. Because if you don't know how the game works, then knowing, like, if you haven't played the game, then knowing the internals of how it works isn't as interesting either. That's unless true. it's, like, a, unless it's a really interesting implementation for some reason. <laughs> Hit stuff. I forgot to paint. You're supposed to paint in the paint game. You know, do you know many game developers? You said you mentioned knowing the Freedom Planet developer. Uh, a handful, I suppose. Is that like through. Did, did that happen like through speedrunning or. Kind like... of? It's okay. just a series of things have occurred in my life. <laughs> that's, 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 that tends to be what lives are, yeah. Yeah, I, I cool. guess it is mostly through speedrunning. The, I wasn't the sure it was a bad very approach, long like, story. If you like went to high school with them or something. No, <laughs> no. And for one thing, they're American and I'm British. Oh, okay, okay. Don't even live on the same continent. But uh, the, I guess the short version is that like I was really into Freedom Planet speedrunning for like a year, mm. like a year solid. It's like all I did, and mm. so I got involved with their community and stuff happened and now I basically am their sort of like I don't know kind of act like a second community manager oh okay kind of I moderate the discord which functionally is their community that's cool yeah I mean yeah stuff like that definitely thus I know them yeah. and we're quite friendly with them etc etc on good yeah, terms yeah. with them and through that, I've met a whole bunch of other developers because they kind of like sort of coalesced there in sort of like the we make Genesis inspired platformer zone. Mm. Yeah. And I've got... Yeah. Once you know one game developer, you know like yeah. fifty. <laughs> yeah. And then I and then I also um I know Will who is making his own puzzle game called Unearth. He's just someone I've known forever. Mm -hmm. From from a from a forum that primarily specialized in producing let's plays. Uh, it's actually his fault player? I do this at all. Huh. Because I really, like, he made a Let's Play once of a game called No One Can Stop Mr. Domino, and I thought it was really funny. Huh. So I picked up the practice from that. Huh. So it's his fault. He is to Never play. heard of that game. It's a game about a domino who cannot be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> That's he cool. runs through a course, leaving dominoes behind, and then you try and keep the dominoes in a neat and orderly fashion to knock them down and they cause events to trigger across the board. It's a weird PS1 game. Huh. It sounds really great. It's about running. It sounds really fun. Yeah, now he's a game developer. So I've kind of just known him forever for that. That's cool. Through that other puzzle game, made
makers also sort of through Galaxy Trail, like, um, Ashley, who made Pedal Crash, which is sort of a versus puzzle game that I really like. Hmm. I wound up designing some of the puzzles for the game's puzzle mode. Oh, that's cool. Not very... I don't want to, like, overstate my contribution. It was, like, four. As a proportion of, of the game, it's, like, two percent. Oh, sure. But, uh, yeah, I just think it's cool that you, like, delved into the world of puzzle design. Like, how was that for you? I, I, I enjoyed it quite a lot, which is weird, because I didn't think I would. <laughs> but I did it because they were, they were, like, doing an update for the game. Like, this was post-release. They were doing, like, an update, and they wanted more puzzles, and I was like, I can try. Because <laughs> the game has, like, a puzzle editor. Right. Like, having, having, I was like, I can try, he said, c weirdly confidently, having never designed a puzzle in his life before. <laughs> and 80% of what I made was trash. Yeah. To be expected. I mean, that happens. It yeah. does. It's like, I'd, I'd say for every, like, I actually designed, like, a lot of puzzles during that period. I think hmm. only four made it to final. Hmm. I think for every, I like, mean, that's... five puzzles I made, only one was even, like, vaguely decent. And of those, some of them were just way too hard. Right, right, right. I mean, I, I think I would I would call it a good track record. I mean, you know, I made, like, a, I released a lot of pretty shaky puzzle games <laughs> before I made this one. So I, I feel like, it, yeah, I, didn't, I did not learn it quickly. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. It also, it yeah. reaffirmed my belief as well, actually, that all puzzle game designers are secretly sort of assholes. Because the trick to mm. making good puzzle is... Oh, hello. The trick to making a good puzzle, or at least one way to go about making a good puzzle, is to design a puzzle that looks like it has an obvious solution, and then make the obvious solution not work. Yeah. That's, Frustrate that's them like, on purpose. Yeah, you, you have to do that. Well, that, that's, that also makes it interesting, right? That's that's almost like that's almost like a basic requirement. Yeah, even in this game, it's kind of hard to do that sometimes. But yeah, like that's it's important because if the obvious thing is what works, then there's no it doesn't feel there's like a no puzzle. puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> So it's trickery. You trick them into. Yeah. It. Always trickery. Trickery with chicory. The live stream. <laughs> yeah, I learned it a little. It was a fun experience. It was a pretty minor thing. It's pretty minor, but I like doing it anyway. Hmm. It's the first time content I have explicitly like designed myself wound up in a commercial video game. So that was neat. Yeah. Put that really one on cool. my bucket list. Look, my work on a video game. I did actually tell my mother that, and she immediately bought it on her phone. Aww. I was like, you are aware I made, like, two puzzles, right? I'm in the corner with the monster. Get me out of here. <laughs> That's such a mom thing, though. It really is. I don't know if she's actually played it. I think she just bought it because. Yeah. She'd like it. It's the kind of game she would like. She's a puzzle gamer. I tried to put point the effort. over New Year's, whatever, and the only thing she wanted to do was play Puyo. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know why. Huh. It's like she specifically requests, like, I want to play Puyo. Huh. She, she challenged me to a first to ten. Wow. Specifically that number. It's like, ten games? I'm just like, why this? Aren't you, like, really good at it, too? No. Oh. I'm bad at Puyo. <laughs> Oh, I just assumed because you played like hardcore rhythm games. No, Puyo is like <laughs> puzzle games are complicated and Wait, difficult. Wait, Puyo is a. I thought that was a rhythm game. No, no, no. Puyo, Puyo is like the the. Do you know Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? Uh, maybe not. Hmm. That's usually the thing I go for. It's the puzzle Sorry. game where you stack the beans of different colors and then they explode when they four of them touch and the ones fall and they make more explosions. Oh, I'm looking Kirby's, at that. Kirby's Avalanche, I guess, is the other one that has the... It's Puyo, but, like, it has a different branding. It's not I consistently just, called Puyo in the West, is the thing. just realized that there's just the whole world of stuff. Like, I, I, I recognize the appearance of this game. Like, I, yeah, it looks like Tetris Attack or something. That's Panel de Pond. Panel de Pond, that's the game I was confusing it with? Yeah, that's Tetris Attack. Okay. No, wait, no, I was thinking, I was confused with another completely unrelated game that's a rhythm game. But I'll never think of what that was. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably like this Yeah, game, I put, I, I put some effort into trying to make my games uh, more accessible so that my mom could play them, but I think she's given up on ever playing them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
even this one is it's just too crazy. It's kind of the funny Show. thing with like indie games like this is that I kind of think they would appeal to that kind of audience because you know it's it's lighthearted, it's bright, it's it's not too demanding of a player's execution, but like they require sort of enthusiast an enthusiast perspective to even really sort of occur to someone to play. Yeah. Like, enthusiasts yeah. play indie games, not mothers. Yeah. Unless the mother is also an enthusiast. There's just a lot of, like, surprising, like, like things that you take for granted when you play too many games that it's, like, really hard to unlearn. Um, and it's, like, hard to realize and other people don't have it, you know? Like, you're in a town and they're like, hey, you should go meet this person in the forest. And you're like, like, if you're not, like, used to video game stuff, like, you, that, that kind of information just passes through you and you yeah. don't you know, register that that was actually a thing to do. And then you're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I kind of love watching people with like no experience with video games try to play them because they do things that just don't make any sense to people who do. Yeah. I opened chapter select by accident. No. Control. Now we're in the mirror fight. See, I think I can get to below 32 minutes in this run if I do it very well. I have to do it very well. There's also possibility. Yeah, there's possibility of a new round. Well, I've been hearing you could do the bosses in a different order. You could do them in an even less sensible order. Really? Yeah, it's been it's been theorized. I haven't bothered to try and actually put it into practice yet, though, because I don't want to throw off my mojo just before GDQ. Yeah. Like now, now is not a good time to try and learn an entirely different route. Maybe right. after. <laughs> That's a thing. Uh, you'll, you'll be surprised. Perhaps people always think that like GDQ runs are like the the apex of the form, when in reality, I very often keep it pretty safe. Right. I think I've come to understand that. I've, I've like watched enough GD. Like I think in GDQ they usually kind of point out. Yeah, or yeah, so I'll watch. I'll watch the GDQ run and then the not GDQ run, and I'll see the difference. <laughs> the goal. The goal is like not to do the fastest time ever at GDQ. The goal is to finish. Yeah. Although I say that, uh, wow, I saved a lot of time on that. Uh, the Delta mm. Rune run gained a huge skip recently and the guy is totally going to do it. I wouldn't awesome. have. I wouldn't have done that, but he will. Huh. This is thus illustrating the difference in our kind. Is he, is he doing chapter two? I didn't see I that on the schedule. I think so. Okay. I haven't I haven't memorized the entire I've barely even looked at it actually. I my, my, I kinda like stopped with a oh I'm doing a thing. We close the tab. Right. <laughs> so when's my run? That's all I gotta I'm know. Early in the week. Because I think I would be stressing about it the whole week. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I would be as well. It's it's kind of like it's it's a fun thing to do. I'm looking forward to it, but also it's like my brain can only handle like one obligation at once. <laughs> right. I plan more things. It's like I got to do thing before thing, but I have other thing after. There's one so at many a time. <laughs> one at a time, please. Because I like running at GDQ, and I'm pretty used to it by now. But it's still like. There's a certain pressure, you know, it's, like, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of people watching. Yeah. Gotta be practice, gotta do something good. Gotta represent the game in the best light that you can. Because <laughs> also the whole community aspect of it as well is that you gotta make the chicory running community proud, even though I sort of exist in a weird bubble from that. Right. It's pretty small, mind you. Yeah. It was a handful of runners. Who routed they this first? I should probably eat. shout them out at some point. Sushi. Sushi Kishi did it. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel, like I, I feel like I must have had like a personal conversation with all of the most prominent runners in it at this point. Like, yeah, because Jonah, one of, the key, one of the people, he like did a lot of routing for it, and he was a QA tester for the game. Yeah, is, is, that, is, that, is that the person who goes by the name Hanged Man? Hanged Man, yeah, sorry. Yeah, he's around sometimes. He's really cool. Give him a shout out during the run as well, because I I did steal some of his stuff from this. 
<laughs> I, ad I adapted it. Because I think he, he, he routed, like, glitchless, and this run is, like, not glitchless at all, but it's closer. <laughs> so some of the stuff was, like, transferable. I forget what exactly now, though. Hmm. be nice to actually give shout outs to people during this mm. one. I remember, that, I remember that time I did Dino Crisis for a hotfix and they, the host asked me, is like, oh, do you have anyone you'd like to shout out? And I was like, I'm like the only person who's been playing this game. <laughs> it's like, who am, I, who am I shouting out? This game's been dead in terms of speedrunning for like five years. It's really interesting to me that Pickle has spawned for a painting event like twice on that one screen now. Or is that the post? Is that the warn you about going to Chicory's? Oh, that's what that is. Oh, okay, I see, yes. I think yeah, it all, yeah, yes. I was say, I'm pretty sure it always happens. It always happens because Pickle wants to tell you to go see Chicory, yeah. I'm minus 30. Wow, I am fast. Yeah, still lots of time saving this run, huh? Just had to gauge how much time I could save. Mm. Funny enough, runners tend to be kind of bad at estimating the peak potential of their own runs. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that from watching uh, uh, Summoning Salt. <laughs> That's like the running gag. It's always like, they're like, yeah, it'll never go below this time. And then there's, like, you know, there's the next something, day. <laughs> there's something profound in that. I don't know what, yeah. though. We're all bad at estimating the peak of our own ability. With game developers, it's the opposite. Like, no one can estimate how long it'll take to, to finish something, and we're always... And it's always way longer than we say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes me sad when a GDQ runner does the whole this game sucks and is badly programmed. Yeah. 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 It is definitely less common now. Like, as a, as a gimmick run type, it's sort of out of favor. Yeah. Yeah, we were saying earlier that, like, they had actually made a special post in the GDQ, like, internal chat about it, where they were like, hey, don't do this. It's like, it's semi-official policy now. Yeah. You're not, you're not allowed to run with that bit. Even even during awful block, they're kind of a bit, uh, against that now. Have to take a different tone with it. Which is funny, because I know someone who one of their games got ran at awful block, and they were not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They were not happy about it. This isn't someone I know very well. They're just sort of someone who hangs around in proximity to a Discord server I'm in. Right. But they, they, one of their games yeah. got ran at Awful Block, and they they like they were like, I, I mentioned it to them, and they were like, yeah, I'm not very happy about it. Aw. They're still making games to their credit. Like, they were okay, not yeah, discouraged. Good. Unflappable confidence. That's great. I'm glad. I'm glad. I mean, I've made some I really think, awful games. I think they're like a kid, is the thing. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Do you know, fair play to them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you saw the games I made when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's totally true, um, Will was saying in the chat about how a lot of games got delayed to this year. A lot of the big studios, like, our, everything just got slowed down by, um, the shift to work from home and stuff. Everything coming was out actually... this year was actually meant to come out last year! This is New Game yeah. Plus, baby! Yeah, this is- it was really, really good for us, because we ended up just being, you know, we got, like, a lot of pity goaties and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pity! <laughs> it's not pity, I will not have that. Well, we got we got attention that I think we we probably wouldn't have gotten had there been like let's say you know a Zelda <laughs> this year. Maybe, possibly. I don't I, disagree with don't that per se. Yeah. But also, have you considered that your game is actually just very good? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> I think the game is good, but like um yeah, like the like good doesn't necessarily equal attention. Like, the fact that we got attention for making a good game, I think that that was, like, a unique and lucky circumstance. I guess it, well, it's, usually... it's kind of always the case, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, there's always, like, some circumstance. You can't just make a good game. You have to also, like, just, yeah, do it at the right time, in the right place, with the right theme. 
for the right people, the thing that's popular, etc. Oh yeah, like the other thing, like when we were in that, we were gonna be in that Nintendo like indie world thing, right? And I remember beforehand, I was like, I just assumed that um, the new Hollow Knight game was gonna come out or something, because ah. we knew that we were gonna be nope. in the, ha -ha. we were gonna be in the montage at the end, and I was like, oh okay, so they're gonna announce like the biggest game of the year, and then we're just gonna be in the little blip at the end, and like you know, who's even gonna notice that our game came out? But then nothing of like, the, nothing that people were really anticipating came out. The most anticipated ones didn't come out. And then we ended up being the headline in news and stuff, which was like crazy lucky to be in a direct and then just actually somehow end up being the, you know, the biggest headline. Yeah, thing that does we were just, that's, that is lucky. But, yeah. You know, luck favors. I don't know. You make your own luck sometimes with these sorts of things. You have an appealing yeah. looking video game. Like, yeah. it's lucky that you got chosen to be the headliner, but also, bad games don't get chosen to headline. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I guess so. So you can think of it that way. Okay. Although, funny enough, right, I've actually made money consistently off Hollow Knight not coming out. Yeah? Every, every single Nintendo Direct or major game event, I bet against someone that it will not happen. I have made money off this. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean at this point, yeah, like, you may as well just keep doing it, right? Because yeah. when you're wrong, you'll have made so much money. <laughs> I've made $50 from this. It's different people. It's not the same person every time. Right. Right. Well, of course, you, have, you can't scam the same person more than <laughs> once, right? <laughs> scam is such an ugly word. <laughs> I actually, I, I had, I've, like, only one time I had a conversation with um, someone who was working on the Hollow Knight game, and they really earnestly, like, two years ago thought the game was about to come out, or three years ago or something, like, when I talked to them. <laughs> I really wonder, like, how things are going. I disagree. They're probably going fine. They're probably going fine. Yeah, I think they're probably just having too much fun working on it, honestly. That, that... <laughs> the screen boundary enough for that to count. Transition, you fool. There we go. Jamie, thanks for gifting a sub to Crescent on fire. Imagine first getting sad that an anticipated game doesn't come out and then losing $50, yeah? Yes, it's, I, I, I bet against people's hope. If I was and smart, I'd have done it for Breath of the Wild 2, but I was not thinking yeah. about that. Man, I'm so excited for that game. I can't that believe they still don't have a name. Yeah. It's, it's listed as just the sequel to Breath of the Wild in all online listings still. Yeah, that's great. That's so great. I hope it just. I hope they just release it as that name. I really do. <laughs> they they <laughs> won't, but imagine if they pulled an untitled Goose game. Right. <laughs> Man, that's such a power move. Be very punk rock, I feel. That game single-handedly put my last game like out of schedule by like two months or something. Like say, like say, like my my Wander song would have come out two months earlier or something if Breath of the Wild had didn't exist. <laughs> Straight up. See, it's okay to admit that now. Yeah. When you have lots of fans, you can't say things like that, otherwise they'll get upset at you. It's like, he was playing video games the whole time! Well, it's true. It's gonna de definitely delay the new game, too. Yeah, I should yeah. See, I, sh I should also, if I was smart, I'd be doing it for every time. They, they, people have moved the goalpost on claiming they're going to announce a new Silent Hill, but I also just really want people to stop talking to me about that. Mm. I hear about every rumor. It's been, like, repeating on a loop for, like, four years. Uh... And then, and then, like, the original creator, like, director of Silent Hill ran off to make his own studio and announced a new thing at, like, the Game Awards. And the oh, chorus yeah. was like, oh, I was hoping for a new Silent Hill. And it's like... <laughs> the new thing looks really cool. But it's like, it's the guy who made the thing in the first place. It's like, what do you... This is like... It's like the, the dream outcome, surely. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's exciting that he's doing something new. I don't understand, like, why you would rather have, like, another Silent Hill game when you could have... Like a new, more creative thing. Considering the track Trust record me. as well, it's like, it's like the last five Silent Hill games have been kind of mediocre. <laughs> yeah. There, there are more bad but... Silent Hill games than good ones at this point. Right. Yeah, oh man, that I, new Sonic game, Hill the open world one. I'm cautiously Sonic. interested, but I have weird relationship with Sonic. 
I'm not saying it'll be good, but yeah, I'm interested. I pretty much that in the new Pokemon game, I have the similar, like, man, I hope it's good. <laughs> I'm definitely going to play the new Pokemon. Oh, I'm, yeah, I've, I'm I've interested already... enough in its concept. Yeah, me too. It's like, ooh, we have a unique idea. Get in there. Just what I've always wanted about a Pokemon game, where Pokemon can beat the shit out of me. <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> Add quote, I have a weird relationship with Sonic. I only like colors. <laughs> it's the only game I like. I've played every single game in that franchise, and I like two. It's colors and generations. That's it. Those are the only two I can tolerate. Everything else oh, just makes me sad. Yeah. But also, being like sort of Freedom Planet adjacent means I have heard every single opinion about the franchise under the sun. This is, uh. this is, this is yeah. <laughs> It's, it places one in that sort of company. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah. And I hate it. <laughs> you mean? You have like a lot of uh, fandom crossovers. I sure I guess, do. Cause you, I guess you play a lot of games. Existence. It does that to someone. Get back on your brush. So I do have a lot of fandom crossover. Specifically people who like platformers. Which is weird, really, because I don't speedrun that many platformers. Hmm. Well, they are pretty popular. They're hard, is the thing. I don't want hard speedruns. I, I do too many for, <laughs> for them to all be very difficult. Right. Jack of all trades. Exactly. That's here. That is yeah. my thing. That is very much where I've positioned myself. Hmm. That's kind of my thing, too, I guess, with game stuff. Like, I'm not good at any specific thing, but I do all of it, so, you know, and that's all you need, really. Chicory was my favorite game of 2021. I'd say you're pretty good at it. Thanks. Did my whole dumb Twitter thread thing. I like making those threads, even though, again, I'm not a critic in any way, shape, or form. Mm, it's just fun. It is fun to think about. I just like yelling about games that I like. It's my favorite part of the pseudo-influencer job. <laughs> Yeah, this was a weird year for, I guess, Ow. us and me in general. Like, we're, we're not, I'm not used to, like, having end-of-the-year attention for stuff with the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I have, like, so much, like, survivor's guilt from all the times, like, I, I didn't. You know, like, like we made a game and no one cared about it, and I, I still remember what it felt like to be that, too. So when I, I see I see a list of games that I'm on, and I think of, you know, whoever made the cool game that I didn't hear about, who really was really hoping they were going to be on that list, and, yeah. <laughs> I cannot be sad about it now. It feels good to be acknowledged, though. It does. It does. It totally it's really does. Nice. You can have it. Drink it in. Yeah. Like a fine wine. <laughs> it's I'll allowed. Let that wine up. <laughs> I haven't heard of Lake Fapurd. I'm gonna look this person up. Lake Feppard makes a series of games called Spark the Electric Jester. I've never heard of that. It's a it's a it's a series of like momentum platformers in the vein of Sonic. The first one's 2D, the second one is three-dimensional. And there's like a third the one being made. I'm credited cool. in the credits for the second game, even though I kind of didn't do anything. Oh. Why? Just what I did what you I did in? I did very late in development playtesting and like this is very loose, because like basically I played it through once and made sure that it didn't crash. That's kind of all I did. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's useful. I, w I wouldn't want to do that, personally. Actually, no, I no, I remember now. The specific reason he gave it to me in particular is that I'm the only person he knew with a 144 hertz monitor. <laughs> oh. He had, he had to make sure that worked. So he gave it to me. He's like, does this break it when at 144 hertz? I was like, I'm going to have to play the whole game to like verify that. It's not very long, mind you. I did, and I was like, yes, it seems like it works perfectly fine. And I was like, cool, sound. I, just, I like how that's sort of, like, my advantage. <laughs> right. I've, 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 like, on a couple of games, I'm, like, the guy who checks the refresh rate problem. Are you, wait, are you playing this game on a 144 hertz monitor? Yeah, it works fine. Okay, sweet. That's good to know. 
<laughs> See, it's my advantage. It's my boon wow. as a playtester is being the one guy with a 144 hertz monitor. I have two, in fact. Huh. Because Windows doesn't like it when the refresh rates of your monitors don't match. No. They don't like it. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It's very difficult to deal with on the other the, the, the my side of it. <laughs> I could improve my employability in terms of playtesting if I got a Mac computer too. That's also a thing I know that like people need specific help with. Yeah. Or a Linux install. Yeah. Although like, don't support Linux. This is my game dev <gasps> hot take for the day. Don't support <gasps> Linux. Localize your game into more languages before you do Linux, for God's sake. Yeah, it's true though. I mean, the, if you want to make money, definitely. The like scroll of truth <laughs> meme. Japanese localization will probably make you more money than a Mac port will. It, yep, I think that's actually definitely true. I mean, it'll probably make you more money than a Mac port, honestly. <laughs> Linux is even like less used than Mac, though. I don't have the stats on this. It is. It is way less used. Like Mac is like five percent of PC, and then Linux is like. 5% of that, oh, so... so tiny! Yeah. And yet... And yet there are beautiful games. In English. And only in English. <laughs> but have Mac and Linux ports. I mean, it's not like an either-or thing, though. It's kind of a full stack auto. It's... But you get my thrust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm being funny, man. This is going well, question mark? Have you noticed, by the way, that the paint sound effect just has not stopped for, like, two minutes now? Oh, I didn't notice that. No, now you mentioned it, I have. Something must funny from... has happened here. I think it's from the boss swimming animation. If I, I think right so, now. which, you know what, fine. Sound bugs or whatever, they do not impede my go fast. You just get to really appreciate that sound design. Right there in your ear the whole time. I did it again, Lamau! Wait, was that enough? Did you, just, did you just beat the previous time? Yeah, it sure was better. By like another 20 seconds. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> it all comes up punchy today. I almost That's got the crazy. sub. I actually did almost get the sub 32 on that one. Wow. Wow. Okay. I. Jeez. <laughs> what am I even here for? <laughs> I That's crazy. I, Man, I, I, I should I, talk I, about Inscription again. I really wanted that to make it in. <laughs> Quick, do it now. I keep the credits in every PB I do. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, like five Apparently minutes ago I when should he, play he, he got the previous world record. This is your thing. Every game dev I know recommends to me one particular game over and over again oh. until they get me to play it. Hempuli recommends oh. I play Thumper. You do Inscription. Will does oh, Prey. Oh, Thumper is good too. Wait, I might, I might switch to Thumper. No, don't. Well... <laughs> The requests! I can never escape the requests! <laughs> it's a hazard of no, the you profession. Should take your time and just play game. Play the games you want to play. I just, I just, yeah, it doesn't, I have anything to add. To add. Will tries Great to get job. me to play. Congrats pro... on the world record! Yeah, two. yay, go me! <laughs> like, two, two in a row, no less. That run was extremely good. That was nonsense. Yeah. That was clean. I was warmed up. I only lost time yeah. to the final boss, which is probably yeah. random. Yeah, it was random. Yeah, you got hit. You got hit a couple times. I did. True, throws off the cycle, but still pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. I'm pretty okay with that, honestly. Yeah. Sorry, what? Will, what would you have me play then? What would you have me play if not Prey? The joke is that I bought Prey, didn't play it, and thus I've just owned Prey forever. But, every, but he likes it, so it's like, play Prey. Play Prey, fucker. And I'm just like, I'm not playing Prey. I've, I've heard that it's good too. I don't know anything about it, really. Even though I bought it to play it. Like, I do want to at some point. I just haven't done it. I, I bought it to play it. I didn't buy it for no reason. <laughs> old or new Prey? The, the new Prey. Obviously. But no, I've actually played Old Prey. Like, I, I'm, I own a 360 copy of it. Hmm. The entire Master Chief collection. I don't think I would like Halo. Yeah, yeah, that's like a pretty specific taste. Good song. Good job, Lena. Capstone. 
You mean Yingling is good? Yeah. Oh yeah, the weird platformer. The platformer with no oh. platforms. Yeah, that you could do that in like an hour. I think that run is actually in GDQ. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's been done by Warm Ham. I would call him an associate in the field of speedrunning indie games. Hmm. So there's there's less like a specific there's there's communities for individual indie games, right? But then you have sort of the broader sphere of people who cross over between indie games. The indie game speedosphere. <laughs> yeah. Which is even tinier. Another fandom overlap thing going on there. This is what happens when individual games are too small to sustain themselves, so that like it sort of becomes a wider thing where people share the games between each other. Right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could, like, <laughs> could you imagine, like, trying to make a, you know, career out of being a full-time chicory speedrunner? Like, <laughs> like you'd, have to, you'd have to pick up a second game at some point. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't happen, yeah. Although, hmm, you could definitely, you could get a lot of mileage out of this, because there's a variety of categories. Like, yeah. I've never tried to do a 100% run, because, um, there's lots of small moving bits. Yeah. It's how I'd, like, you've got, like, the trash, you've got the kids, which is all, it's a lot to, to keep in memory yeah people do it does though it, does it like have cool movement or anything in it like is it i don't is it know actually a run? i don't know hmm. i know i mean swimming and moving and jumping and what have you is still going to be a fast way to get about places but i don't know yeah. if there's a whole lot of like funny tech to skip between points yeah in the course of getting a hundred percent like you'd probably be doing almost less out of bounds stuff because definitely like the routing is almost easier to just like go yeah <laughs> it's less <laughs> played i know that much but that's always the case with the longer categories yeah because it reminds me of like how i'm always kind of impressed by people who run like spyro games 100 percent because there's so many small mm. gems you gotta pick up so <laughs> how do you keep track of this it's very it feels very fiddly it seems like it'd be really fiddly yeah you know the, those are exhausting to watch just got, you just gotta like know all the gems and like keep track of it. It's like, ah, oh my god. Yeah. That's how I feel about trying to pick up the trash in this game in a run context. It's like I I forgot to pick up can. <laughs> yeah, what a silly way to kill your run too. Because <laughs> there's no there's like there's like a counter per zone, but only if you go back and talk to the guy. You can't keep track of it via any other means, so you have to know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, at least for me, I, I the trash sticks out to me like a sore thumb. I don't know if it's the case for you, but I would it's... like, I, yeah. <laughs> I remember, I, I think trash was the last thing I did when I was getting 100% normally. Mm. And I found some of them to be, I thought some of them were pretty well hidden. Some, some, some we were pretty tricky about, especially if you're, it's like the, the dark rooms. That's like a pretty nasty place to put them. Because like they're grey. Um, they're, they're grey yeah. against the monochrome back, which stands out once you've painted everything. Mm -hmm. But if you haven't, that's, that's why it would be difficult in like a 100% run, because you don't paint the whole screen as you're going through. Yeah. Just where you're going. Yeah. To memorize all of it. How, I'm going to have to look this up now. How long actually is the 100% run? I bet it's like... I, I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, 